Alright, chapter 5, topics cover the major topics covered in this chapter are inserting wires, applying wire numbers, inserting user defined circuits, and inserting liners and cable markers and circuit builders. Introduction. In the previous chapter, we learned to insert various electronic components of the components individually placed that do not perform any task but can connect with the desired manner within various components, perform various tasks. In chapter, we learned to add wires. Later, we learned to create circuits, multiple buses, and ladders. Wires. Wire, wires are a lifeline in any circuit. Wires are used to carry the current, miss, make, and appliance run. Tools create wires available to wire. Drop down and insert wire. Wire numbers. And panel schematic tab of the ribbon in figure, figure 1. So when you look at the wire, you have a wire, a 22, 20, 22.5, 45, and 67.5 interconnection components and grip gaps. This tool, um, this, this, the tool to drop down and discuss next wire. Wire also used to add straight lines of drawings to connect various components of the procedure of the tools given the next. Click on the wire tool, wire drop down, command prompt will display as shown in figure 4. 2, command prompt, prior wire installation, show the wire type X show connection. Wire type button, show the command prompt T, press enter if it change the wire type, select wire type of the dialog box displayed shown in figure 3. And then you have a set wire type dialog box. Select the wire type of the list and click on the OK button with the dialog box for the select the wire set for the insertion. Check the drying area of the start of the point of the wire. It will be asked to specify the end point of the wire and component will be displayed and shown in figure 4 2. 4 2 show the command prop after starting point. Show the specify the wire V start vertical. It's H horizontal tab collision off or continue. If you have the, um, use the command prop specify the length of the wire, you can use V start vertical H horizontal bottom of the command over the AutoCAD electrical draw only vertical horizontal respectively Tick, um, click on the tab collision off to make the wires avoid collisions with components after you click again with the button the wire will be able to pass through the components at least in the schematic drawing figure sh F5 figure 5 shows two wires one with the collision off and the one collision on collision off collision on Clicking on specify end point of the wire, you can create wires until end up at a connector of the component if you want to need to start at a new wire. The 25, 45, and 67.5 degree, the tools you've the created wires at set angle, the procedure you've the tools given the next. Click on the 22.545 or 67.5 degree tool of the wire drop down. You will be prompted to specify the starting point of the wire. Click the desired point and start point. You're asked to specify the end point of the wire. Click the specify the end point of the wire. Interconnect the components. Interconnecting component component tools. You give the interconnect two components with each with each other. The procedure you use for this tool is given the next. Click the interconnect components tool with the wire drop down. You ask to select the first component of the first component. You will be prompted to select the second component. So the second component of the wire will be created connecting both the components. Refer to figure six. Next note, the components are to be connected. You the tools should be aligned properly so that their connection points are in the same orientation. So the components interconnected with a push button and a rheostat. The gap is you or or uh, resistor or whatever you, or even a fuse. Gap is two for the crowd and create create a gap in the wire where there are two wires connect insert each other the procedures you the tools given the next. Click on the gap to a wire drop down you can ask to select the wire if you want to the remain solid while applying the tool. You the desired wire you can ask to select the crossing uh, you're asked to select the crossing wire. You intersect with the wire gap the wires will be created figure seven. Before applying the gap wires on, using the gap tool after applying the gap, multiple bus and tools created for the multiple lines of the wires create multiple bus file for the next steps given the next. Click on the multiple bus tool for the windsert wire and wire numbers drop down. Multiple wire bus dialog is displayed in figure 8. Click on the spacing edited box of the horizontal vertical spacing between the wires. Click on any other, no uh, by default, another but multiple bu wires radio button selected. As a result, you can create multiple wires from point to on another point. Select empty space, go horizontal button, radio button, empty space, go vertical radio button, but create multiple wires in horizontal and vertical direction, respectively. Creating multiple wire buses, various radio positions, horizontal ver spacing to end, and component multiple wires, another bus, empty space, go empty space, number of wires, two, three, or four. Component multiple views, component multiple wires, and radio button with a multiple wire button dialog box. Click on the OK button dialog box, prompt with create selection window into the selection component connecting port of the device. Select the connection points where you want to create the multiple wire bus. Refer to figure 9. Selecting um, ports are highlighted and shown in figure 10. Window selection port. Connecting ports highlighted. Entering command prompt wires with attached to get um, to the cursor. Refer to figure 11. 
wires attached to the cursor. Specify the length of the wires. Multiply the line, wire bit bus will be created. Another bus, bus multiple wires. Another bus, multiple wire radio button. You either create the multiple wire bus using an already existing wire bus. The steps you either create an, an option or given the next. So like another but bus, multiple wire radio button, multiple wire bus, dialog box, the number of the wires, the number of the wires, edit box, the number of the number of wires that should be equal to the wire already existing bus. Click the OK button with the dialog box. You ask to select a wire. Select with the middle wire from the already existing wire bus. That end this the end of the current wire will be get attached for the cursor for the figure one twelve. So we pick the middle one and wire bus from another wire bus. Uh, wire bus. We can specify endpoint with the wire bus. Empty space and go horizontal. Empty space, go horizontal. Radio button. You've either create multiple wire bus horizontal. Direction start with the specified start point step. You've either option given the next. Specify the empty space with the go horizontal. Radio button. Multiple wire button. Dialog bus. The number of the space. The number of the wires. Edit box. Click the OK button. Dialog box. Ask to specify the starting point from the bus. Click on the drawing area. You can ask to specify the end point of the bus. Click the specify the end point. Empty space or go vertical. Empty space or go vertical. Radio button is created with the multiple wire bus and vertical direction starting with the specified start point steps. Use the option given the next empty space go vertical radio button multiple wire busing um dialog box Specify for the number of wires number of wires edit box okay button dialog box add the specify the starting point for the bus click in the drawing area x to specify the end point of the bus and click specify at the end points all right ladders electrical system multiple circuits are unpowered and common power source can be combined from in form of ladder ladders are arrangement of wires shown in figure 13 show the bus the rung and the ladder Using ladders, ladder diagrams are created in the backbone of PLCs. In today's world, you have to create the um, control ladders are available. The ladder drop down. Refer to Figure 14. Procedure: Use the tools. Drop down. Give it an X. All right. Figure 14 shows the ladder drop down. Insert ladder. X and Y grid setup. X and Y zone setup. Um, or sorry, X zone. X X Y grid setup. X zone setup. Insert ladder tool. You the insert ladder wires on the diagram procedure. You this tool is given the next. The insert ladder tool. Ladder drop down. Sheet one inserts ladder dialog box displayed and shown in figure 15. Figure 15 shows the sheet ins one insert ladder dialog box with spacing, length, rungs, width. So you have your rungs, your phases, um, drawing rungs, no buses, no rungs. Yes, skip. All right. Click the edit box with the area. Specify the distance between two wire buses. Click the edit box. Specify the area. Specify the distance between two rungs. Click the length of the edit box. Specify the total length of the ladder. Click on the rungs. Edit box. Specify the number of the rungs in the ladder. Now you can specify the value in any one of the two edit box values, and the other edit box will calculate it automatically. So for the ladder, number of the phase of the ladder if selected with the three phase radio button from the phase area of the ladder will, ladder will create it with a three phase wire line value of the distance between the phase line will be required in space editing box. You can skip the creation of bus or rung in the ladder by selecting respective but radio button from the drawing rungs area of the dialog box. Click the OK button dialog box to create the ladder. X and Y grid setup. The tool is set up with the grid wires based on the specified value of the grid can be later used to connect the various circuits. The procedure you the tool will give it an X. Click the X and Y grid setup of the ladder drop down. X and Y grid setup dialog box will be displayed and shown in figure 16. Figure 16 show the X and Y grid setup. Show the origin, pick point, and spacing in the horizontal and vertical XY format horizontal vertical vertical horizontal separator grid tape labels first only complete list of the separates of the common A B C and D horizontal vertical insert XY grid labels and horizontal and vertical count Click on the pick button with the dialog box specify the origin of the grid. You are prompted to pick the point of the drawing area. Click the drawing area to specify the point. Specify the between the horizontal and vertical grid line. The edit box is available in the specifying area of the dialog box. Does a radio button in XY format. Area of the dialog box. Insert X and Y grid labels. Check the um, box of the display labels on the grid. Air selecting the check box is on the specifying horizontal vertical counts of the respective edit box below the check box. Click on the OK button with the dialog box grid will be created referred to figure 17. Note that the grid created is for reference purpose view of the grid. You can pre precisely place the components in the drawing. Alright, this shows the grid created and it shows your A1, A2, A, B, A, C. So, um, X, X zone setup. X zone setup tools you to create the um, vertical reference of the drawing insert of the component. Note that you can have the XY grid setup and X zone setup tool before you creating an X zone. You need to enable this option. Enable this option. Follow the steps given the next. Right click on the name of the current drawing in the project manager shortcut menu will be displayed and shown figure. 
go down to properties and then go select um, move the cursor to properties option of the shortcut menu cascading the menu will display click on the drawing properties option from the menu and drawing property dialog box will display and show in figure 19 go to um, you are now in the drawing properties dialog box. Go to the drawing format tab on the dialog on the dialog box. This option dialog box will display and show in Figure 20. Figure 20 shows the ladder defaults vertical horizontal width multiple wire spacing ref format x y grid x zone reference zone scale for scale feature multiplier inch scale the millimeter millimeter full size to wet tag wire number order set override no override layers define. All right, select X on radio button format referencing area with a dialog box. Now that you can also define the default direction ladder creation, selecting the desired radio button, later default ladder defaults area of the dialog box. Click the OK button, dialog box, apply the specified setting. Now we have enabled the X zone setup so we can use it in our drawing. The procedure of the X zone setup is to give the is tool is given the next. Click the X zone setup tool for the later ladder drop down insert wire wire number ribbons and the X zone setup dialog box will display and show figure twenty one. So the pick and the spacing, and then the zone entering existing enter, entering list, the complete list of um, zone labels. Enter first and only completely. So you'd have ten to one uh, with comma zone labels. Enter the first only or complete list. Insert zone labels. Zone count. Click the button, button, pick button origin of the dialog box. You're prompted to select the pick point drawing area. Specify origin and desired point with the drawing area. Click the horizontal edit box. Space area with the dialog box. Specify the desired distance value. Select the insert zone label. Check if it includes the labels on the zone. Click the OK button. Dialog box X zone will be created in front of figure 22. 22 shows the X zones um, who will work on real world project electrical system generally requires reference to insert our components at the time x y grids and x zones are required to create references all right wire numbering is an important aspect of wires wire numbers help identify circuits related to that of the wire components can give the wire total length of the wire other details of the tools of the specify wire numbers available the wire number to drop down insert wires wire and number panel there are three tools of the drop down wire numbers, three phase and PLC, I, 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 and O. For the figure 23, these tools are discussed later and show the wire number, three phase and PLC, I, and O. Wire number drop down. Wire numbers. Um, the tool is specified within the wire number to individual wires or project Y. The procedure to use this tool is given the next. Click on the wire number tool of the wire number drop down. Sheet 1 wire tagging dialog box will display and show in figure 24. Shoot one wire tagging show the tag new unnumbered wires only. Two tag and retag all cross reference server the fashion database tag and wire tag mode sequential. Start one incremental format override use wide layer of format overrides insert as fixed. Project picked individual project wide picked individual wires cancel drawing wide. Click the start wire tag mode area specify the starting number of the wire tagging renumbering and numbering wire tagging and numbering. So the tag new unnumbered only radio button if you want to specify the wire number to be unnumbered wires only that otherwise leave on the default. Click on set it button with the dialog box specify the format wire numbering assign the wire number formats by wire layers. Dialog box will be displayed and shown in figure 25. Sign wire number formats by wire layer, wire wire no, layer and wire number format, subsequent start number suffix, add, update, and create, last default, um, wire layer name, wild cards only, wire cover format, um, starting sequence number name, so for starting tag mode only, and wire number suffix for all, for all the layer. Click the list button on the dialog, select the wire layer, the dialog will be displayed and, and referenced and show the different colors. Select the wire from the dialog box, select the desired color layer for the wire, click the OK button with the selected wire layer dialog box. Click on the three default by one, one, one by one, specify the default values related fields. Click the add button, the dialog box wire number formatting will be added. Click the OK button dialog box. Now we are ready to use the layer format on the, in our wiring number. Select the user wire layer format override checkbox. If you want to apply the wire number individually to each wire, then click on the pick individual wires button for the dialog box, but you're primed to select the wires. Click the wires only one by one. Enter the number will be assigning the wires. Refer to figures 27. 
All right, 27 shows. Um, wire numbering. We have our X and Y zones, and um, X and Y and zones, and we've now numbered the wires. Three phase. You've the number of three phase wiring produced. You've the tool to give it the next. Click on three phase tool wire number drop down the ribbon. The three phase wire numbering dialog will display in figure 28. Three phase numbering place prefix hold increment base one. Hold increment, suffix, hold and increment, and then wire numbers 1L, 1L2, 1L3. Maximum 3, 4, none, OK, and cancel. Specify the desired value prefix base and suffix edit box. So desired radio button, maximum area with the dialog box. If you have three wires in the connection, then select three radio button. If you have four, then select four radio button. Click on the OK button dialog box. You select the first wire of the three phase line. So for your respective wire, you ask to select the second wire. Select the second wire. Similarly, select the third wire. After selecting the third wire, the dialog box will display it again. Keep on selecting the individual wire that you want to be numbered. After number, clicking on cancel button before the dialog box to exit. All right, PLC and IO code. The tool, the tool of the number input and output ports of the PLC the procedure. Give the tool is given the next. Give the PLC IO I slash O tool wire number drops down on the ribbon. PLC IO wire number dialog box will display shown on figure twenty nine. Show the IO wire tag format predefined. Um, PLC wire number dialog box. Specify the desired design. PLC IO percentage code has already been discussed. Click OK button. Dialog box prompting with select the PLC. So the um, PLC you asked to select the wires connected to the PLC. One by one select wires that they are connected to the PLC. Tags defined. PLC extract and applied wires. Refer to figure thirty. Alright, show the PLC IO wire numbers. I'm not sure, panel, I believe that's a panel circuit board. Um, wire number leaders and label. To preview the figure with the wire numbers, the sign like automatically modify the wire number leaders with assigned labels as needed. Tools that do so are available in wire number leader drop down for the figure 31. The wire number leader, wire color, gauge labels, inline wire labels. Preview you the tool to drop down is discussed next. Wire number leader. The tool is given to assign leader to the wire number. The procedure uses if the tool is given the next. Click on the wire number to leader tool with the wire number to leader drop down ribbon and will be prompted to select the wire number to refer to figure 32. 32U2, you give the command prompt the wire leader collab. Wire leader shows the collapse like wire number of the leader. So the desired wire number from um, the drawing, you will be prompted to specify the point of the leader endpoint and refer to figure 33. After selecting wire number, click the drawing area specified endpoint with the wire number will be prompted to specify the next point with the leader. Click on the drawing area specified the point and press enter for the wire number will be assigned and refer to figure 34. Figure 34 shows the wire number leader assigned. Um, similarly, you can add assign leaders to other wires. Wire color and gauge labels. Tools you can attach wire color and gauge labels to the wire so that they can easily be identified wires in the circle of the procedure. You the tool and give it the next. Click on the wire color and gauge label as wire leader number leader drop down ribbon and the insert wire color and gauge label to the skies. Dialog box is selected, shown figure 30, 35. Click on the setup button, specify the settings. Wire label color, color label color, engage setup dialog box will be displayed and shown figure 36. Show the wire label gauge layer name setup, text size, arrow size, layer, layer, leader layer, text layer width, lay, with leader aligned with wire, auto placement manual, no leader aligned with me manually. Show the wire cable, wire label color ga guides and um, leader, wire label cover, gable, gauge side dialog box. So if you have the desired settings in the dialog box, click the OK button on the dialog box. Click the manual button for the dialog menu and assign the color gable, gauge labels. No, you can assign the labels and leaders without leaders selecting manual button from the respective area. Click auto placement button to automatically place the color and gauge labels. After select the desired button, click on the wire file with the instruction given by the system. Press enter to create the label. The labels will detach the wires refer to figure 37. Shows the wire labels um, attached. Uh, Inline wire labels. The previous tool is you to insert the labels aside wire, uh, aside the wires. Inline wire labels the tool is you to insert the inline wire labels. The labels are included information, color gauge, and so on. 
Procedure you for this tool is given the next. Click on inline wire label the tool. The wire number leader drop down insert component dialog box will display and refer to figure 38. All right. Um, insert component dialog box. Um, show the select the desired symbol with the dialog box. You prompt to specify the insertion point with a symbol. Click on the wire and insert the label. The label will be inserted with the preferred figure 39. Inline label. Um, markers. Markers. You have to mark the wires for the categorizing them. Tool applies markers as available in the cable markers. Insert dot T markers. Drop down the procedures. So you use all these tools or some of the procedures discussed next. All right, cable marker. The tool is you can insert the cable marker. The procedure is given the next. Click on the cable markers tool when the cable markers drop down. Um, this insert component dialog box will display with the cable marker for figure 40. Insert component cable mar component dialog with the cable markers. Um, so we're in the JIC cable markers menu. Click on the desired symbol, then click on the wire symbol, then insert edit cable marker parent wire dialog box will display shown figure 41. Insert edit cable parent wire cable tag USPL and location tags use external list width wire color ID generic prompt down drawing catalog manufacturer assembly item number two look up drawing project multiple uh, insulation description lines child conductor references insulation location show edit miscellaneous Insert and edit care cable mar marker dialog box. Specify the parameters desired and click on the OK button dialog box. Insert some child components dialogs will be displayed for further four two. You can automatically insert child components that are tied to this parent. Select OK. Insert the child components. Now hide tag next. Hide the location. Hide the description. OK. Insert child. Insert some child component dialogs. Insert child components. Then OK. Insert call button. Otherwise, click on the close button from the dialog box. If you click on the OK insert child button, then you need to click on the child wire. Specify the tags are desired. And specify the tags are desired. Multiple cable markers. Um, tool you can insert multiple cable markers in the drawing. The procedure you the tool given the next to the multiple cable markers and tool markable cable markup drops. Drop down multiple cable markup drop and drop markers. Dialogs will be displayed in show in figure 43. Extract wires from project active drawing. All active drawing pick. Um, list two. List two fresh and wire connection tables format and OK. Multiple cable marker dialog. Select the desired radio button dialog box. Click the OK button in the dialog box. The cable markers will be inserted automatically. So you can either do that to your project or your active drawing at all, all of them, or you can pick your active drawing. Um, insert dot T markers. Insert dot T. You have the insert dot T marker on the wire procedure. You have the tool. Give it the next. Click the insert dot T markers. Insert dot T markers. Drop um, down. Ribbon, you can prompt this click on the wire to create a dot T mark. Click on the wire at a desired point, the dot T mark will be created. Refer to figure 44. Show the dot T mark. Insert an angle T marker. Insert all angle T markers. You can convert the T marker into angle T mark. The procedure of the tool is given the next. Click on insert the angle T markers from the insert dot T markers drop down. Then you will prompt to select the T wires of the click the T. The inverted angle T mark. Refer to figure 45. Alright, um, circuit builder. Circuit builder tool is you have to insert circuits in the drawing. The procedure you have the tool for the give of the next. The circuit builder from the tool. Circuit builder drop down insert components panel with a ribbon and refer to figure 46. The circuit selection dial box will display as shown in figure 47. You have the circuit builder button and it shows the circuit builder and recalculate wire size. Um, circuit selection and it shows the circuits in three phase and, uh, um, so far as the ace American, uh, Army. A CAD circuit builder XLS scale the circuit scale component scale rung spacing horizontal space annotation note and preset reference existing circuit and then retag if that's like um insert configure closer help from history select the desired circuit from the list click the edit box and scale area to specify the scale value of the circuit component specify the spacing between the rung spacing area Select the desired radio button, special annotation area with the dialog box. Click the insert button on the dialog box. We will prompt to specify the insertion point of the circuit. Click the specify the insertion of the circuit will be placed in front of figure 48. Figure 48 of the circuit inserted. Um, practical. In this practical, we create a circuit diagram and electrical system. Refer to figure 49. 49 shows a... Um, 
practical. Starting a new end drawing. Showing AutoCAD electrical, click on the drop down, start drawing button. List of the templates will be displayed. Refer to figure 450. Template drawing. You have the AC, ANSI, A landscape color drawing template. For the list of templates, a new drawing will open. Select the template. Refer to figure 51. Show the drawing open with the um, tool block, title block. Editing title block, title, title block. Double click on the title block in the bottom right corner. Enhance attributor editor dialog block. Will display refer to figure 52. As you edit and enhance attributed editor, editor dialog box and the um, you uh, come across the value of the project description. Um, select the desired tag for the list of the specified respective values. Click the OK button dialog box to exit. Creating wires, of the, um, creating the multi bus, inserting wire wire numbers in the ribbon, multiple wire bus dialog box display is shown in figure 53. Select spacing 0 0.5, spacing edit box, empty space, go horizontal radio dialog, three button, specify the number of the wires of three, click OK, you have to specify the starting point of the wire bus, click drawing area, create the wire bus to show in figure 54, wire bus to create it, similarly create two or more buses, each having three wires from the spacing, refer to figure 5, click on the wire tool, insert wire, wire numbers, create, and then panel and create wire from earth, refer to, and, uh, so now you have wire created from Earth, and now assign the number of the labels of the wire. Inline wire, label the wire, number to lead, drop down, figure 57. Insert component dialog box wire, label the slide, and 58. Um, so we have our wire number leader drop down, and then we have our insert component dialog box with the JIC inline wire labels. Select the red symbol of the dialog box, click on the top of wire, specify the color code, simple middle, but middle. Bottom wire is black and blue, respectively refer to figure 59. Note that the default tag of the wire is displayed in the yellow color. Change the color, double click the color name and label the enhanced attributed to the dialog box will display refer to figure 60. And then show the red, black, and blue wires after color coding. And enhance our attributed editor, show the color uh, attributed text operation for the block HTL, um, HTL generic color. The property tabs to change the color label, layers are present per requirement. OK button, dialog box. Click the wire number tool, the wire number drop down sheet. One wire tagging dialog will display and show in figure 61. 61 sheet, one tire tagging with dialog box, tag new, the same stuff. Click drawing wire between the dialog box. Um, the wire numbers will be assigned to the wires. Refer to figure 62. The wire numbers assigned to 62. And um, you can change the color wire numbers as we did in the wire labels. Inserting three phase motor. Um, catalog browser bottom of the component drop down. For refer to 63. Catalog browser will display category drop down. MO for motors option list. Select the search or edit box. Specify four pole in it. Click on the search button. List of the motors and catalog will display and show in figures. Um, so yeah, I have an AC, AC two horsepower, 400 um, wheel AC, four poles, starter, and RPMs. Select motor highlight with the red box above. The panel buttons will be displayed. Refer to figure 65. The panel of the buttons, um, the the button, the insert component dialog box will display. Refer to figure 56. Insert component dialog by default. The motor control category menu selected icon by cursor. Refer to figure 67. And then you see the three-phase motor. Uh, I'm doing so, assign the symbol to the catalog number dialog will display. Refer to 68. Quick map symbol to the catalog number button. The symbol will get attached to the cursor. Middle wire is shown in figure 69. Motor will get attached to three wires automatically. Inserting edit component dialog will display and show in figure 70. Motor to be placed. Um, and then the insert edit component tag um, dialog box. Click the edit box component tag. Specify whether the tag is the motor line. One edit description three phase rating editing. Box ratings are area specify that the rating is two horsepower. Click OK button. Dialog box motor will be placed for further figure seventy one. Motor plays two horsepower. Add grounding symbol. Add an icon button with icon menu. Insert component dialog box with displays. Select motor control category menu area. Click the ground symbol from the bright area of the dialog box and will prompt to specify the location of the ground symbol. Click the end of the wire. The four wire number refer to figure seventy three. Now you've placed the um, placed on the ground symbol, adding symbol to various components, clicking on the catalog browser, inserting insert shown and shown.
So we have our three phase monitor charging red, blue, and black. Um, and uh, child horsepower motors on push buttons. Um, connect the two horsepower mount and ground monitor wire tool refer to the two horsepower wires connected more. Adding all the components drawing will be displayed and shown in figure. Practical model problem. The circuit draw create the circuit drawing and shown in figure 77. And then um, this one shows a motor horsepower. Some type of uh, um, of uh, um, some kind of uh, temperature switch or resistor or adjustable resistor at six amps, Tem and then this pressure sensing pressure sensing device for the motor and uh, a buzzer. Editing wires, components, and circuits. Chapter six. Topics covered.